Hey guys, welcome to the uh, first episode of Model Showcase. This is where I will show a, a train or a series of trains from my Lego collection of eight wide. So I thought I'd start off with the SD4-2s from Norfolk Southern models that BMR has done. So we're going to dive in then and we'll look at the details that I put on them. And I'll explain the two different versions. And why I chose to model them this way. So we'll dive right in. Alright, first of all, this is the instruction book. And as it actually comes, it's actually supposed to be this version. Which is the low hood the normal standard hood actually as it would be today and in the book there's two variants you can do the Norfolk and Western version or the Conrail acquired version later on with the flex coil trucks what I chose to do instead put this aside what I chose to do instead was the high hood version that Norfolk Western had and Southern had now, Southern had the majority of the high hoods, whereas N&W actually only had 11, which in my opinion is actually kind of unusual that they would only order 11 and they go to straight to short hoods, as N&W was also known for their high hoods. But when I, chose, when I was going to build these, in fact, the first version is this one here. In fact, let me move this one back. So we can look at this one. When I chose to do that, I thought, you know, the best way to do an SD4-2 in Norfolk Southern, everybody's going to, anybody models it, they're probably just going to go with the regular low hood. I'm going to go with the high hood. Because I think it just looks better. That's one of my aesthetic choice. I mean, not everybody might agree with that, but to me it looks good. It's actually not a hard mod. It was pretty easy to do. But I'm not going to explain how I did it because I'm not going to give away the secrets in the books. If you want to build one of these models, get the kit from BMR and do it. They're not that... The kits are not too expensive. They come with some parts that you can't get normally from Lego. Instruction book and a couple of things. Decals aren't too bad in the price. But let's start off with the detail differences on these two. Bring this back. Straighten that up. All right, starting out with the front here on the NW. Final focus. Up here we have a high bell that was typical of the NW. And the one thing I did was I decided to go with the more modern day white stripe that's down on the bottom here and some of them with the white stripes actually did not have the horse head like this does where it's got the standard NS and I looked for a version of that and it's this particular cab number 1625 which I think actually still is high hood they haven't I don't think they have ripped into it yet but I could be wrong on that So we'll go back further here. The rest of the engines, your typical SD4 S2, the rate, you know, the dynamic brakes, the radiators, all that stuff. Come to the back here. Now I didn't put decals back here because these things are tricky to do when you're trying to change numbers. So I just left it blank because I just, I don't care. I don't I don't have graceful fingers, so. And here's the left side, pretty much similar detailing. There's the trucks, fuel tank, steps, all that stuff. And of course, profile from the front, I got, of course, the uh, KD coupler on. The phone just does not want to focus today. 
But uh, now we'll look at the southern version. Now the southern version, the difference is right away if you notice there's no bell on the front. It's actually back here. When I was modeling these two, I was very, very careful to check the detailing differences between them. And now with this one here, this one actually is the original Norfolk Southern Scheme with no white stripe. Same thing with the decal, it's the standard NS decal with no horse head. And now, I also didn't put the numbers on the front, and I don't think I put them on the back either, because again, it's a tricky thing to do, and I was like, eh, not that worried about it. Someday I might go back and try to decal them, but I'm not worried about it at the moment. Now, another thing that's different between these two is this one actually has the double motor as it comes in the instructions. This one only has one motor in it because I only had one motor left. Took a little bit of thought to rig up a thing to match how the motor was set up, but I figured it out. And surprisingly, this one here was actually pretty strong. We hooked up 50 cars to it at Simonium and it pulled 50 cars very slowly but it did it so I'm interested to see what these two together will do even with the just one extra motor and I need to also upgrade for more modern rolling stock but at this point I'm satisfied with just what I got to run so And, like I said, eventually add more stuff. But, yeah, this is pretty much just the whole bit about these. They have, you know, the usual details. The fans, all that. They're really excellent models. So, I recommend getting them. Even if you don't want NS, there's three other paint schemes. And, next episode, I'll probably talk about the... The other SD4-2s I have in my collection. And then we'll go to the rolling stock. I'm hoping to do this one, this episode once a week if I can. If not, I'll put them out when possible. But that's all I got today, guys. So uh, like, subscribe, share, hit the bell, all that stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.